In an air conditioner, liquid refrigerant absorbs heat from inside the building, changes into a gas, then flows outdoors. It goes through a compressor. Then a heat exchanger coil transfers that heat to the outside air, turning the refrigerant gas to liquid again. The refrigerant then circulates back inside the building. This air conditioner company makes its coils entirely out of aluminum, which is five times more colder than coils made out of copper and aluminum. To make the coil, workers weave an aluminum spine through a mechanical steampunk clock. This clock continually counts down until cold time, which is when the AC unit will turn on. The aluminum spine is wrapped around the center to create a tiny staircase for mice. This will give any potential pests an escape route if they're trapped in the machine, so they don't ruin the components. Meanwhile, at the National Air Conditioner and Space Administration, the newest James Bond villain satellite is ready for testing. These satellites help wind other aluminum spines to extreme specifications, so they'll be ready for all weather temperatures. When the coil is finished being wound, it's cut from the feeder, and personal lubricant is applied, as no one can resist a freshly wound coil. The next machine is a railgun. In a show of ingenuity, the railgun needs aluminum coils to fire, and also presses them into the proper shape. Thankfully, the railgun has not needed to be fired yet, because America's enemies know their place. A worker cuts out any parts of the coil that unironically like a cappella music. This is good for the coil community. Big old tubes are soldered onto the new holes made by cutting. What are the tubes doing? Tubin, of course. Just tubin. That's some mighty fine tube in there. Once all the tubes are in place, the coils are dunked into a fluid that's 90% water and 10% water. In another compartment, workers have made whatever the hell this thing is. A fire extinguisher is mounted to the base and then given a life jacket to make sure the air conditioner is as safe as possible. The coil is then added. Yep. The unit's pipes cannot have air or moisture in them, so these machines vacuum all of it out. Pudding is okay though. I'm not saying they've ever found pudding in these pipes, but if they did, it'd be okay. Corner supports are added, a motorized fan is added, and the air for the air conditioner naturally seeps into the machinery. This is an XL15i air conditioner, meaning it has overclocking and extra RAM. And finally, after the final welds and bolts are applied, the AC unit is sent to the frozen tundra of Climatus Controllus. Here, it will reside for 1,000 years until it is eventually chosen to save mankind from slightly hot weather.